This is Dragon Blogger here to show you a little bit about the Hootsuite Twitter management tool. Hootsuite.com is a Twitter management application similar to the fat client apps like TweetDeck or Twirl, but the entire application sits on a website. When you log into the application, it will sync with your Twitter account and you'll see a bunch of columns and tables. You'll see your typical home feed, which is your all friends, your mentions, which are your replies. You can also create custom lists and custom columns. Like I have a custom bloggers list column here. I've got a direct my DMs or direct messages inbox here. I also have a pending tweets column. And that's one of the beauties of Hootsuite. You could type your Twitter message and then you could select send later and you could choose whatever date and time you want the, the message to go out on Twitter. You can also manage multiple Twitter accounts here and as you can see, I have several Twitter accounts configured with my Hootsuite. I have my Dragon Blogger account, my Get Out Arizona account, Rockland account, Technotree, Chef's Cookbook. I manage five Twitter accounts from this Hootsuite application, which is extremely useful. In addition to just broadcasting messages with your Twitter accounts and filtering them, you can create additional tabs for each account. So that way I can see all my columns for my Dragon Blogger account. I can see my other columns for my Technotree account. You can combine one tab and have multiple um, columns for each account. Like if I wanted to see Dragon Bloggers replies here or, or Techno Trees here, I could do that as well. Let's say I wanted to add another column in my Dragon Blogger tab and I wanted to add a column for my Techno Tree mentions. I could just click on Add Column, select my Techno Tree account, select um, Mentions, and click Create Column. And then you'll see now I have the mentions column for my Technotree account loading up on my dashboard for Hootsuite. And I can even drag this around and move this towards the front if I wanted to. If I don't want it, I can delete the column. The best thing about this is adding columns for your Twitter lists. You can select your account, then select your Twitter lists for that account. And I really, really enjoy that you can create columns, keep track of people in your lists. Like I could follow my poets, my bloggers, my friends my Power 50 blogging group, blog earning uh, companies that I follow on Twitter. Again, this is one of the really great things about this application. It's web-based. So once you have your profile set up, no matter what computer you go and log into, you'll see your columns in place. They save for your profile. It doesn't actually tie to a single profile. You actually set up an email with its own password to log in at Hootsuite. So it's not specifically tied to any one Twitter account. You can manage multiple Twitter accounts with it. To add more accounts, you would click on settings, you click on social networks, and then you just add additional Twitter accounts as you need to. You also need to occasionally sync avatars. Whenever you change your Twitter profile pic, Hootsuite won't pick it up automatically. So if you see your pic is broken, you will have to go into your settings and social networks and do a resync so it can download and, and, and show the new profile pic. That's one of the only caveats on the application is that it won't automatically go and retrieve profile pics and they do get out of sync if you change them and you've got to sync your avatars. Other than that, the application is extremely useful. You can add other social networks. You can manage and broadcast to Facebook with it, to LinkedIn, to Ping FM, to WordPress, MySpace, and even Foursquare. It continues to grow and add new features. Um, Hootsuite is definitely one of my favorite applications for managing Twitter. I use Hootsuite and TweetDeck pretty much exclusively for doing all my Twitter, uh, you know, my Twitter work and my socializing and my promotion. Another thing about Twitter, uh, about Hootsuite is the statistics. When you shrink links with Owly, which is the custom uh, Hootsuite link shrinking service, you can get custom tweet analytics for your Owly links and you can see how many clicks you get for those. This only applies if you actually use Hootsuite to shrink your links. I typically use Bitly and I do all my tracking with Bitly, but you can use either or. If you prefer to use Hootsuite because you work from this, you can just click in your links and, and, and track them. I happen to use Bitly, so even when I use Hootsuite, I'll shrink my link with Bitly and put it in there. So the actual click tracking statistics is not extremely valuable for me since I don't actually uh, shrink my links with Owly but it's useful if you do a lot of hourly shrinking. That's basically a quick overview of Hootsuite. Um, you can click on users and it will open up some profile information about them. And
And if you want to go to their Twitter page itself, you could always go to the Twitter link here. It gives you a quick summary of their followers. You can follow them from here. You can view their tweets. You can DM them, reply, etc. Add them to a list directly. Uh, so, what I would like to have seen updates for Hootsuite in the future is possibly some additions to the send later functionality. Right now, it it's kind of hard to manually type in a date. It pops up the calendar. So if you've got to manually type in a date all the time and then tab over, I wish instead of having um, ticks to select the time, I wish you could just type in the times instead of having a drop down to make it faster to schedule them. I wish you could also have some sort of multiple schedule. Like if you want to write a Twitter broadcast and you want to send it on multiple dates, I, I wish it could have had the ability to send it like every Saturday or things like that. But I can understand that Twitter's terms of service says you can't have auto retweets. Each one needs to be built manually. So if you do have a message, you'll have to cut and paste it several times and then select different dates and times you want it to be sent. One thing about uh, Hootsuite as well is in your pending tweets column, this shows you when your tweets are scheduled for. Occasionally, Twitter network will go down and a pending tweet won't get broadcast. When that happens, you'll get an error message showing you that your tweet cannot be sent and you have the ability to re-edit it and rebroadcast it or delete it from your pending tweet stream. Uh, but again, that's not that's just a, a minor perk because every once in a while, make sure you check your pending tweets, see if they kicked off, see if any had an error and you got to go back and, and fix them. Other than that, this is a demonstration of the Hootsuite Twitter management tool. This is my favorite web-based tool for managing your Twitter profiles and multiple Twitter accounts on the web. And I highly recommend if you're not using Hootsuite that you should log into Hootsuite and start using it. Thank you for watching.